Hi there ladies and gents, Scott Moyes here from Capro Systems. So today in this video we're going to start off with our first part for the fidget spinner. This video was created for the Techno Hackers event in Whangarei on the 20th of August 2017. So anyone who's watching um, after that can obviously just follow along with these videos and create this uh, data set yourself. Maybe even make one of your own. Um, fidget pit spinners probably won't be cool by then but it's a neat little project. Um, that teaches you kind of a whole bunch of fundamentals of Fusion 360 in a pretty compact um, way. So the first thing we want to do here is get familiar with the data panel. So up in the top left hand corner you've got this grid icon of nine squares. If you click on that it will expand out and the odds are you'll get presented. Oh, actually, you know what, the odds are for you the first time you'll be in here like this my first project. So this little chevron arrow up here, if you click on that it will take you up to the top level of your um, data panel where you can see all of your projects. Now for the Techno Hackers attendees um, I've invited them to a project I created and so if you double click on that then you'll be able to see a list of folders and uh, hopefully just a single file here, the M8 Hexnut. Now, Hopefully um, you've had a folder created for you already. If you haven't, it's a good opportunity to do that now. Um, so click on new folder up here and create one of your name. So in my case, it'll be Scott Moises Designs. And then hit enter on your keyboard. Make sure you hit enter. Okay, so now I've got my own folder. If you just double click on the folder you've just created to enter it and you'll see that there's no designs in there at the moment. Okay so just make to make sure that you've got an empty document here just click on the X um, if it asks you to save don't save it unless you want to and it will um, create a new document um, with nothing in it for you. Click on the X in the top right hand corner of the data panel here just to shut it off so we've got more screen space to work with. Now the first thing we want to do is looking at the view cube in the top right hand corner is we want to draw a circle and extrude that up. So just to kind of give you a bit of insight of where we're going here, um, I'll just go back up to my top level and we'll open up this spinner button here. So this is what we're going to be modeling, okay? It's pretty pretty basic, just a bunch of circles, but it's a good place to start. I'll just play through this timeline here for you. So we'll create a sketch, then we'll extrude it down, then we're going to create another sketch on the top face that we just extruded and extrude that up and then create another face with two circles on it, one's offset from the other and then extrude that up and then we're going to add a chamfer to the underside of this um, button here and then on this side of it we're going to create another sketch and add some text to it just your initials and then we'll extrude cut those into the top of the button alright so let's get started close that off got my back to my blank document close off the data panel create sketch and we want to start drawing on the X and Y plane so that's red and green okay so red is X green is Y and blue is Z then come up to the sketch panel click on the drop down and on the circle flyout select center diameter circle and you'll notice there's a C next to it that means there's a keyboard shortcut for you to be able to press C and quickly get to the circle command so I've left clicked, let's just do that again, so I left click on the origin here to snap to the center point so that's zero, 0 for my sketch and then move my cursor out and then type in 23 enter enter okay and then we can press, come up here for extrude and here you can see there's an E for you to be able to press as well so we can try that again later um, and we want to go down minus two millimeters okay 
So I just double clicked my um, scroll wheel then to zoom extents and I'm going to create a new sketch on this top face here now. So we'll go create sketch and we're not going to pick this plane this time, we're going to pick this face and then we're going to select C for circle I'm using my middle mouse button to pan here Okay, C for circle and I'm going to pick the center point, my zero, zero and then before I place, well you know what, let's do that let's left click to place the circle this time so the last time we typed in the dimension, this time we clicked a second time to place it then you can go to sketch sketch dimension click on the circle and then click again to place the dimension and this is going to be 8.2 mils in diameter now we've got this second circle um, sketched out it's black so it's fully constrained instead of blue like it was before and then we can select extrude pick on that face if you're still looking in plan view like this hold down shift middle mouse button to orbit your model around and then you can just grab that arrow and drag it up a bit so we actually want it to be 4 mils so make sure you type in 4 enter and there we have it so we've now got two cylinders extruded on top of one another so now we're going to create a, a third sketch and we're going to select that top face again and then C for circle click on left click on the origin point and then left click to place it and then D for dimension left click the circle left click to place it and that's nine millimeters so this time we need to create an offset of that circle so we could draw that circle and then put a dimension on it or we can use the offset command and so press O for that and then click on the circle you want to offset and now you can see a preview of what it's going to offset so we want to type in 0.8 millimeters and the reason why we're using 0.8 is because this is a, this is going to be a 3D printed part and the nozzle on the end of the 3D printer that squeezes the plastic out is 0.4 millimeters wide so the minimum wall thickness we can create um, really is, is 0.8 mil so you get two passes um, and you get a strong enough um, wall to withstand some degree of force so once you've typed in 0.8 press enter and now we can extrude again so we're going to press E for extrude this time and select that inner profile make sure you get that one and not the um, any of the other ones there's a tiny one here then the circle and then the bigger one on the outside okay and we just want to extrude that up one mil so press the type one and then enter so that's it we're pretty close to um, having our first button modeled up and you can see as we've been modeling along this timeline down the bottom here is um, is growing in length so you can actually click on the play button and, and skip through and see and preview all the steps you took to get to this point all right so now we're going to just orbit this over so holding down shift on the keyboard and the middle mouse button we're going to go to modify chamfer and then select this edge here and type in one and then enter okay so now we've got a nice edge to um, so it's not a sharp edge um, and we're going to do a little bit of customization now so uh, what we can do is create a sketch on this top face here so we'll go create sketch select this top face and just pan using your middle mouse button to to get the um, the model somewhere in the, a nice view. So you got kind of so you can see the whole circle, right? Um, because we want to make sure that when we create some text now, that it's going to be um, in the center. So we're just going to eyeball it. So to get to your sketch um, command under sketch, come down to text. And then left click to place the initial position and we've got this dialogue here that's popped up so my initials are SCM and I want it to be bold because it just gives us a bit more um, of a feature to, to 3d print and we're going to set a, a good height seems to be 8 now if you're 
letters uh, end up being a little bit bigger um, than mine then you might need to create a smaller font or the opposite it might be true you might need to set it to 10 so you can grab this little um, glyph down here and, and move this around until you're happy that it's it's pretty close to being in the center and close enough is fine so we're going to stop the sketch and then extrude again and this time we're going to pick those um, that text that your initials that you've just typed in and go minus 0 0.6 enter and that's it okay so you've now got a custom button so if you want we can um, create a material and assign a material to this uh, but before we do let's save our file so click on save and give it a name so we're going to go spinner button um, in my case for video and yeah and make sure let's see in my case here it says Z finished examples I don't want it there I want to make sure that I put it in my folder okay oh. click on master up here it brings you back up to the top level find your name double click on Scott Moises design so make sure you're in your folder up here it's got your name on it check that every time otherwise files will end up in lots of different places and then click save okay so on the browser on the left hand side um, the browser is made up of lots of nodes okay and so if we right click on the, um, the top node um, we can select physical material this is going to bring up this little window here with a whole bunch of materials in here. Now we want to find ABS plastic. Okay, so expand out the plastic folder and then click and drag ABS plastic onto your um, button. And now you'll see at the top here ABS plastic has been added in this design. And we can right click on this and edit it and just change the name to PLA because that's what we're going to be printing this from. And click done. And that's it. If you want, you can clear out some of these older materials by right clicking and selecting delete all unused just to keep things neat and tidy. And then click close. And that's all very well and good. So that's set our physical property, so the density of it. So it's going to predict how heavy this button is going to be, but it doesn't look very good. So if we right click on that top node again and select appearance, and you know, there's an A here, it's giving us a clue that we can press A to get to that quickly and under plastic um, let's go to textured and well the te texture doesn't really have any colors we can go in and add some colors to that if we wanted to later but um, we're not going to cover that today so let's just go plastic glossy green or you know what, let's go plastic matte green click and drag that onto this body and there we go Again, if we want, we can right click on here, delete all unused, and it just purges all that stuff out. And that is it, that's the button finished. So, that's your first part on your journey towards creating your fidget spinner. I hope that all sunk in um, and was valuable for you and a good introduction to modeling in Fusion 360. Thanks for tuning in, we'll catch you in the next video. Cheers, bye.